Howdy folks, welcome to this bonus video where we're going to look at my mouse and the mouse controls and stuff that I use. So I wanted to show you that because I get a lot of questions in the comments for my videos on like how to move stuff to your inventory and that kind of thing. And so this is a G602 mouse and I highly recommend it. I recommend not getting the G700S mouse as it's advertised as similar or you'll see people saying it's similar or whatever. It's not the battery in the G700S is like horrible. You get about literally about 15 minutes. It's it's basically worthless as far as the battery goes. You have to play with it plugged in. I guess if you like a cord, having a cord come out of you, coming out of your mouse like you're some kind of, sort of caveman or something, that might be acceptable. But, you know, definitely read the reviews if you're not getting this specific mouse and you're looking for a Logitech mouse that's kind of similar or whatever that has the features you want. Make sure to read the reviews and look on Amazon especially. The reviews there are really awesome and will help you find what you're looking for. So anyway, this is the mouse and these are the controls that I have. And so basically this lets you do different things. So we'll look at here. This is the spam T. And so if we go in here and edit command. So what it does is this is the keystroke and then every hundred milliseconds it repeats. And so it's on a toggle repeat. So basically when I click this thing once, it just starts spamming T 10 times a second until I click it again and then it turns that off. And so that's why when I walk up to my ship after I'm mining and I go in and out of the cockpit blah, 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 back and forth, that's that's what that's from is because I forget to turn that off. And so we have scroll up and scroll down. And so what you can do on here is it moves the mouse wheel. So while I'm holding this, it moves the mouse wheel 60 times a second and zooms me way in or out. And so that way when I'm in free look and I want to like, look over a mountain or you know zoom in and out of my character that kind of thing I can do that my reload is here and so it's right next to fire which is really handy and then this one is spam click this is what I use to fire the thingy and obviously it doesn't actually fire 40 times a second it just clicks 40 times a second and it fires the weapon however fast it's able to be fired so that is the macro for that and I also have other macros that I attach, like this one, when I'm in creative mode, I use this one. And what this one does is it holds R, which for you guys is shift. So basically it's shift right clicks, you know, 40 times a second. And so I put a block in my thing and hit that and toggle it on and it just goes and it removes tons and tons of blocks. It'll, it'll remove like 40 blocks a second. So it's great for tearing something down in creative mode. It's really useful for those of you who didn't know that about creative mode. Yes, you can shift right click to with a block in your hand and whatever block is in your crosshair will get removed. Anyway, there are other things you can do on here too. And so there are scripts. So if you right click on here, you can go scripting and I've added this in. I have not actually used this in any of my episodes yet, but I plan to as soon as I do another episode, this will be active. And so for those of you who wanted to know what this is doing, this is the code for what it's doing, what I'm doing in those episodes. So what it does is when I press the button four or button 10, and if you look on the mouse, that is this button here, or this button here. And so when I press those, what it does is it either presses the use key or not, depending on which which one I pressed. And then what it does is it moves the mouse to that little arrow. And this is the location of it on a 1080, on a 1080, 1920 by 1080 screen. That's the location of the take all button. And then it clicks the mouse and then it presses the use key to exit back out. And so what this does is when I point at like a cargo box or a fridge or whatever, or a, a dead body, it, <laughs> it just basically clicks that and takes all and gets out of there. So I can point at something and get everything into my inventory like in a snap now, which is really cool. This is a quarter of a second to sleep. And so if you wanted to do that, you can use the same code. I will post this script text in the description of this video so that you can copy paste it into your own if you're using the Logitech gaming software. And so anyway, you can do that and you can set up profiles for different games. My profiles are saved 
on the PC, not on the mouse. So when you get that option, because I think there's different things, capabilities that it has if you save it on the mouse. So in my experience, you want to save it on the PC. But anyway, these so you can do that for different programs and you can set up different macros and, and custom, you know, programming and everything for different games or different software. As you see, I've got different software I use too. So anyway, this is what I'm using and I highly recommend it. It's really useful. These mice are not like super duper expensive. I mean, you, basically you can pay the same for any other, um, unless you're buying a really, really cheapo mouse. You know, you can get them anywhere in the range, I think 30 to 60 bucks. And I think I got this one on sale for like 30 bucks. So look around on the internet or look around, you know, wherever you buy your electronics and see if they might have one. So there it is. There is the mouse I use and those are the little tricks I use. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below or, you know, leave me a thanks or whatever. And because I know a lot of people had questions about that stuff and wanted to see and were asking for this kind of video. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the game. Later.